By observing the universe, we often find a lot of different locations containing a lot of different spherical structures. And in most cases, these spherical objects or these expanding objects are the result of some kind of a major event, such as, for example, a supernova or some other explosion in the center. Although it doesn't have to be an explosion, like in this case. This is just a planetary nebula, or basically a result of an aging star releasing a huge amount of gas that forms multiple spherical shells around it. And then at some point, when it becomes powerful enough, it starts to illuminate these shells, producing these beautiful reflections you see right here. And so normally, when astronomers discover some kind of a spherical shape out there, the instant assumption is that, right in the middle, there's gotta be something really powerful emitting everything. But then, approximately 5 years ago, from when I'm making this video, back in 2019, completely by accident, radio astronomers discovered these structures. Structures that are once again spherical in shape, but something we've never seen before. And interestingly enough, only some of them contain something in the center. Surprisingly, that something was usually some kind of a galaxy. But not all of them had this, and approximately half of them still remain kind of mysterious. And while today these objects are referred to as orcs, odd radio circles. As the name suggests, they're strange, they seem to be only visible in radio light, and they're kind of circular. And while how wonderful person this is Anton, today we're going to discuss additional discoveries and additional new mysteries about these objects, despite the fact that a few months ago, back in January of 2024, I actually did make a video that very confidently stated that we might have actually solved the mystery here. But if you watch the video, the solution here was only for some of the circles, the ones with galaxies in the middle. And so for the most part, some of them are still kind of mysterious. But I guess the question is, okay, so what exactly is this and what are we looking at? Well, the overall assumption today is that it's possibly something like this. Some kind of a very powerful, some kind of a major emission from the middle of something, possibly a galaxy, that seems to form an object millions of light years across. 50 to 100 times larger than the Milky Way galaxy. And in order to produce something like this, you obviously require a tremendous amount of energy. Energy that has to come from somewhere. But for the most part, they're believed to be some kind of a spherical shock wave that was very likely formed at least 100 million to possibly several hundred million years ago. But one of the main issues explaining these objects is the fact that they seem to be so rare. If this is a typical galactic environment where galaxies emit a lot of energy all at once, we actually should be seeing this everywhere. Yet so far, less than 10 such objects have been discovered, and so far, pretty much all of them only visible with radio light. Very likely the result of synchrotron radiation, or basically when various charged particles suddenly experience different acceleration or deceleration, such as fast electrons moving through magnetic fields. But usually, when we see these emissions around, for example, a star or some kind of a cluster, they also do contain other emissions. For example, infrared light from maybe heated gas, or even X-ray emissions from much more powerful charged particles colliding with something else. But here, it's just pure radio light. And here's actually one of the most recent additional discoveries of yet another radio circle, discovered by using the famous South African telescope known as Meerkat. Now, the main discovery in the study was actually the unusual radio relics you see right here that seem to resemble two separate arcs. These are very likely formed through the same principle of electrons in the magnetic field, but they seem to be connected with the object in the center. Here we're talking about a galactic cluster with a somewhat long name PSZ2 G277.93 plus 12.34. And so these strange radio relics, approximately 8.5 million light years away from each other, seem to be a result of some kind of a galactic merger in the center of this very massive cluster. And though by itself it doesn't form a perfect circle, when the researchers were looking around this area, they actually found something else. They did discover a potentially new orc, here referred to as Orc J1027-4422. This one is not as easily visible, but it seems to be there nevertheless. It's approximately 1.3 million light years across, and when visualized in three dimensions, resembled something like this. But unlike those other orcs we discussed in previous videos, including the one in the description that kind of tries to tackle this mystery even more, this one does not have a galaxy in the center. It's basically a single orc without anything visible so far. 
but those other arcs they've detected were very likely produced through galactic merger and resemble this in three dimensions. And so maybe those arcs are just an incomplete circle, sort of pointing at some of the solutions to this problem. And according to the previous research from a few months ago, one of the best explanations for the formation of these orcs was actually the result of galactic interaction, and specifically the interaction of what's known as starburst galaxies. Here's a very famous example, the antenna galaxies. With the idea being that if inside of these galaxies a lot of stars explode at the same time, or at least within a few thousand years, the overall push and the force of these explosions is going to suddenly create a lot of wind traveling at thousands of kilometers per second. Which by itself can actually happen if two massive galaxies collide in certain way. Once again, antenna galaxies is a result of two colliding massive galaxies. And so this merger can actually push a lot of gas into an extremely small region somewhere in the center, which forces a tremendous star production, but also results in powerful emissions. And so in a nutshell, that's kind of what's believed is happening in at least four of these structures, because by looking at galaxies in the middle of at least four of these orcs, the researchers did discover signs of a major burst of stars that ended a billion years ago. And more importantly, a huge amount of very hot, very luminous gas that's usually the leftover of such events. But once again, this is only the orcs that have galaxies in the center. What about the other ones? Well, the other ones, we still don't know. However, we now have another observation from a slightly different study that did discover something super surprising. For the first time ever, orc has been associated with a different light from another telescope, X-rays. With the observations coming from the NASA's Newton telescope, with this new study that you can find in the description, basically talking about the origin of what they refer to as cloverleaf odd radio circle. This is actually the closest known to us, and because it kind of resembles a cloverleaf, it's received that nickname. And so when observing this region in the X-rays, they discovered this. Now this is actually on a much smaller scale, but there seems to be a somewhat circular X-ray component that basically shows us gas that's been heated and excited by something else. Although here it also reveals to us two separate groups of galaxies. There are approximately 12 different galaxies interacting here, and they all seem to be merging inside of this unusual formation. Or basically, inside of this formation as well. And in order to even produce these X-rays, the temperatures here have to be really high. Roughly around 8 million Kelvin, or approximately 8 million Celsius, 15 million Fahrenheit. And so once again here, maybe this is a result of some kind of a galactic collision that then resulted in the production of a lot of stars. But galactic merger by itself cannot really explain this radio observation. Because once again, we see galactic mergers everywhere. But galaxies like this do not produce odd radio circles. So something else must be happening here in order to produce this formation that's millions of light years across. With one potential explanation, involving central black holes. Here the scientists believe that maybe massive black holes in the center of these galaxies go through some super powerful activity, releasing a lot of energy in the process. But then, for some reason, all of the electrons produced by these emissions somehow become reaccelerated in certain locations where galaxies merge. And so here maybe this is because of two separate events happening at the same time. Emissions from a supermassive black hole mixed with a galactic merger that basically results in massive shock waves. But that's just a hypothesis and right now, once again, the question still remains open. And since so far this is the only orc directly connected to X-rays, technically we don't even know if these are related or if this is from two separate events that have no connection whatsoever. Nevertheless, this once again reminds us that astronomy, especially radio astronomy, is still in its infancy and there are so many unexplained mysteries even today. The fact that this was only discovered in 2019 and the explanations right now are kind of very basic and not satisfactory already shows us that we still have so much to learn. As a matter of fact, if this is anything like FRBs or fast radio bursts, this mystery is not going to be officially closed for at least another decade. And so until future discoveries or until someone else finds something absolutely mind-blowing, that's all I wanted to mention. Check out additional videos about odd radio circles in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining a channel membership or by buying one for person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow and as always, bye bye.